Hello everyone. Um, sorry I haven't done any videos for about a week or two now. Uh, first I had family from out of town here and kind of took up a lot of my free time. And then we've had like five or six days of nothing but rain here in the Toledo area. And it kind of, eh. And as you can hear we got cicadas going everywhere. So, forgive me for that, but the next couple videos are going to, you know, feature them simply because I'm filming about four videos in a row. Anyway, we have here Galvatron from uh, Titan's Return. This one's almost going to be more of a rant than anything else because they had potential with this figure and they kind of screwed it up for gimmicks. Now, I have since heavily, heavily modified this guy. Um, both his head and this. I mean, he doesn't have a third mode anymore. I got rid of the cockpit. I also relocated um, and drilled a hole and moved this so that this part here is actually in a better spot in robot mode and uh, added some silver and I got rid of the red that was here because it's supposed to be gray not red dark gray so he doesn't peg together well on the back end at all it just it, I have tried tightening it. it just for some reason the tolerances are off badly I mean he's a nice cannon mode I'll give it that um, but that's about it it's not like I said, he had potential. I don't know what they... When you over-engineer a figure to fit a gimmick, it really, really can screw with the figure. And um, if you can see on here, I've got the fake busters part for the arm. So we'll see. I'll show you how that works out because, you know, I actually think it's fine. Uh, I know some people th think it makes the cannon too far off his shoulder. It kind of has to be because of these stupid fins. But it is what it is. Now, we'll take a look at his little headmaster. And the instructions call him Nucleon, but he was heavily based off of Megatron. So if we could zoom in on this for a little bit here, I'll show you guys. I painted him up to look like Megatron, obviously. And if you can already see on his back, I've heavily modified that. I, I cut down both the mask and the face and got him to line up a little bit more, repainted the face and the eyes and the chin and all that. So, yeah. So, it works better for me. He's got a fairly simple transformation. A lot of these Titan Returns figures do. Um, legs just come out. Dogs barking in the background. Stupid panels flip in and fill in his legs. So not so hollow looking. He does have these nice ab pieces, I'll give it that. And his robot mode is probably the best out of all of them, out of the three modes that they engineered into him. Uh, the original gimmick with the mask was just awful. I uh, just don't know why they had to do that. There, there could have been better ways. Yeah, he could totally do the, you know, Lockdown gun face if you want to. Um, you can actually put this guy in here if you wanted to. You don't have to, but you could. It's kind of dumb, but it's a big empty hollow spot there. Because I got rid of the cockpit, he no longer has any place for his little headmaster guy to go. So take this. 
the shoulder bits off, take this off. And the gun transforms like that. And like I said, because I modified this and added, moved some of these pins and stuff around, I can get this behind his head more like it's supposed to because originally because of the cockpit this was upside down behind his head and backwards you had the hollow part facing so now it's facing the right direction at least to me and look I know a lot of people are like why can't you just accept the figure that's given to you I have a set of skills that I've honed over the last couple years on, on modifying things. And if I can modify something to make it better, I damn well know I'm going to do it. Now, originally the gun, it would peg in on the other side, but it would peg in over the arm like this, which ruined the articulation. Yeah, it's a little bit more accurate, but really, if you wanted it, it should have pegged in here. And then it would have been more accurate. But no, they decided to put it up in his bicep and ruin the articulation on the arm. So we got the fake buster part. Goes right there. I think it looks fine. I don't care what anybody says. And then, of course, you know, you know how all these guys work. Just transform them. He plugs in. This can be a pain getting his head in sometimes. Come on. Sometimes his head does not want to peg in. There we go. I think that's about right. But there we go. This is my version of the Titan's Return Galvatron. I think it looks better to me. Um, without the stupid gimmick, his head now has full articulation when it doesn't want to pop out. There we go. So... If you can modify them, I recommend it highly. I've seen a lot of people modify them already. Um, so you can get your full articulation, get the fake busters part. But he does have a double elbow as the police go screaming by, which is nice. Got his bicep swivel, full rotation there. Does have a waist. You know, all this other good stuff. Everything you'd expect. He does have ankle tilts, which is nice because a lot of uh, a lot of figures nowadays don't have that. Especially from Hasbro and Takara. They just don't. Unless it's a masterpiece. And even then it's iffy. So there you go. Galvatron. Eh. He really is one of the weaker figures from the wave. I know a lot of people were looking forward to him, but yeah. Got to be honest with you. He is one of the weaker ones. All right. That's it for this one. I'll talk to you next time.